Can y'all hear me out there? If I ain't living a life, I don't know what you call it. What's up? What's up, YouTube? All my subscribers. This is basically what happens when I'm in the studio late at night by myself. I'm trying to get ideas and find shit that, you know, sample and create and all that shit. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going through records. It's about. It's like 3.56. A lot of y'all asleep right now. Not me. I'm up. Fucking with vinyl. Y'all, y'all young niggas don't even know what this is because y'all born in the fucking iPod era. You gotta sit and look for records to scratch and sample. And this is the one right here. You pull it out and put it on top because you needed that. I don't need that for tonight. I need that just for future reference so I don't have to keep looking through all these records. In this process, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I'm finding shit that'll work for other records. And whenever I need it for something else, but... I'm not finding what I'm looking for. And mind you, I just came from the club. So I got a little liquor in my body. And I might be overlooking what I'm looking for. But, I don't believe that. I just came from the club, Studio 72. Ryan Leslie performed with Fabulous. I didn't have my camera to show y'all, but that's exactly what happened tonight. If you ever come to Atlanta, make sure you get a chance to come to my club, Studio 72. <laughs> Anyway, that's the record I was looking for. I needed this slick Rick. I couldn't find it. What's crazy about this record is that if you really look really, really close, like right there, the record is dented. It's got, it's it's almost like it's been, somebody did something to the record, the vinyl. It's so fucked up. But I just gotta have that sound, man. I can't do the CDs. I gotta have this sound. I could have easily went on iTunes and got Lottie Dottie and it would have been so crisp, but I needed this. This. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Lottie Dottie. This is how I grew up. Lottie, I don't know about y'all, but this is how I grew up. Lottie. I gotta do it the way I know. Lottie. You know what? Yo, peep this. Lottie Dottie. We like to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. Just something that's on the mic. And when we run, 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 run. Alright, so I'm trying to find these little toms to put in this song. Uh, and a crash so I could put in this little song that we just adding little spices, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, try these little crashes first. And if I don't like
like I'm, I'm gonna try something else. So. Same Lambo, same bit, different color. More like my son and just my little brother. See, I had to let him go just so he can really know. You never know what you got till it's gone. Welcome home. Say we talk just alike, walk just alike. Same bit, swagger when we rock up on the mic. They say we talk just alike, walk just alike, same damn swagger when we holler girls like. And all my niggas, hands up, let me know that you, they say we talk just alike. Shout out to all my uh, subscribers and all the people that are on YouTube. You guys are funny, man, with y'all comments and all that crazy shit that y'all, these rumors and y'all be going to these blog sites and all that, man. Tonight I'm showing y'all how we make a song. Put you niggas in your comments, it's crazy. <laughs> So I'm in the studio right now working on this Bow Wow song. Um, and the song is basically about how me and Bow Wow's relationship went from him as a child and me creating him to him growing up and wanting to branch out and go out there and do things on his own. And I guess me not understanding him. I'm, I'm, I'm an adult and grown enough to say I wouldn't understand him. So I couldn't understand sometimes when he wanted to do certain things. So... And then uh, him not understanding me wanting to make him do other things. And so we bump heads a lot of times as he as he got older. You know what I mean? Uh, when he went to do the old project, him and Omari and I wasn't... I basically quit that project because he pissed me off. <laughs> and we had our, we know, we had our times right then. And, and there was other times, a couple of other albums before. This is the nigga's seventh album, by the way. You know what I mean? Uh, it ain't a lot of y'all rappers even got seven albums, so... I ain't gonna go into that, but anyway, this is like his seventh album, and um, the name of the album is called New Jack City 2, and I titled the album New Jack City 2 because if Nino wouldn't have killed G-Money, them niggas would have kept doing what they was doing, and that basically, that's how I feel about me and Bow Wow, I feel like um, me and him created our own money, you know what I mean, Bow Wow was selling out the garden and selling out everywhere and making so much money and then the ignorance between the two of us we basically fucked it off and uh if if nino wouldn't have shot g money the money would have stayed the same so new jack city 2 means that i ain't killed g money and we worked out our differences and the money is gonna stay the same you heard <laughs> yeah JD, 1472, YouTube, holla at your boy. Oh, I'm watching, I'm on Real Talk right now, as y'all see me, I'm looking at my computer. And a nigga Mello, shout out to Mello, but you, he just lost. Um, um, playing NBA Live, like, first of all, NBA Live is whack, that's why you lost. Because that game is so, like, the men is like, McCain, man, their arms don't move. <laughs> uh, but uh, you should be playing NBA 2K9, and you probably would have won. You know what I mean? You probably wouldn't have had to cut your hair. But I think this this is great, right? They should put this on BET. Carmelo gets has to cut his hair because he's playing a video game, and his man beat him. That's crazy. Good TV. Holla at your boy.